Willie Thomas, that's right. Most three run home runs in a single season tying Ken Griffey Jr. Did so back in 96. You see Sosa, Tino, and Roy Campanella on this list as well. Griff, that's right. The kid had some special words for Willie Thomas. Take a listen. Hey, Willie, congratulations on tying my record. Uh, just tell your teammates to get on base so you can break it. Records are meant to be broken, and you got a month. So uh, let's do it. Congratulations. Keep it going. How cool is Ken Griffey Jr. and how cool is Willie Adamas? We go to American Family <laughs> Field and he joins us now. Willie, this is one of my favorite stories of the year. May 7th, Brewers against the Royals. Two outs in the ninth. You're on deck. Gary Sanchez is up. And the fans are saying, we want Willie. We want Willie. You said, okay, you sure you want me? You go up there. Sanchez walks him five pitches. You hit a three-run home run. And afterwards, instead of going to the dugout, you went to the fans and said, oh, my God, that was the coolest thing I've ever done. Take me through that moment. No, that, that was insane. That was insane. That's actually one of my favorite parts of this year so far. I mean, it was just like they were just like, you know, being fans and just like giving me this like attitude like we want you, we want you, we want you. And I and I remember me saying like, are you sure you want me? Because, you know, I'm, I'm going to go deep if I go up there. And it was like, yeah, we want you. <laughs> And then the guy threw me like three sliders in a row, and I was like, you know, at the last one, he gave me a really good one to hit it, and I hit a home run. I was like running the base, and I was like, wow, I actually did it. Like, that was, that was cool. That's wow. awesome. Willie, Albert Pujols por aquí. Congratulations, my brother. You. I want you to talk to me about the success that you guys are having as a team. I know you guys have, a, obviously, a new manager. He has to make a big impact, the relationship that he has with you guys. But, I mean, you're swinging the bat awesome. But talk to us about a little bit of this. He say, how's the crow? How's the energy? Uh, the energy is great, Pools. You know, the, the energy has been, I, I got to say, it's one of the best years, you know, in terms of, like, energy and, and, and chemistry in the clubhouse that we have since I got here. I mean, the boys, you know, they're doing a tremendous job. The young guys that we have, they've been incredible for us. I, I think that's that's what ha that has been the biggest impact for our team. It's just the way that they carry themselves, you know, they're getting on base, they still in bases, getting in scoring position for, for me and William and, and Yelich when he was playing. And, and it's been amazing. And obviously we have some young guys that, that they came up as the, the, the starting pitchers. They've been doing a tremendous job. Hudson in the bullpen, Peguero and all those guys, they, they've been incredible. So I, I, I got to tell you, man, this chemistry we, has, it, we have this year is, is different. It's something special. And talk to me about your your street right now that you're in. I mean, you are hot. Everybody on sure is like rubbing elbow with you. Did you do anything different this off season? Yeah, I work uh, I work a lot with my guy in the Dominican. Uh, we we just work. You know, last year was not the best year for me offensive offensive wise, and, and we work on just like trying to get to my back leg and just like trying to sink to that leg and just stay you know on the same level without moving my head and. And just staying back on that leg, I think that was the main point. The, the main point that we work on this offseason, and it's been amazing because you know it's been helping me to like recognize more the the all speed and just stay more disciplined, you know, at the play. And I think that's that's been the key, you know, all that work we did in, during the offseason last year. It's paying off. Thank you. Hey, 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 Willie, it's Harold here, man. Good to see you. I, I, I got a couple Hello, questions Harold. for you. Off of that point, I heard you talking about we got some young guys. You're a young guy yourself. So I have to just correct you with real quick, young man. <laughs> hey, but let, let me ask you this. The experience now, you've been in the big leagues for a good six years, getting ready to be a free agent. What's the difference? What have you learned and how, how you applying that experience now from being a young guy like them to a veteran like yourself? What have you been able to learn? I feel like you just learn yourself and, and, and what you're good at and, you know, and just – just how to execute a little better than when you're young. You just go there and compete without knowing what you're doing, I guess. But like, I feel like after after you get like some, you know, some years in the big leagues and you struggle and you success, I feel like you you get to know yourself a little better and you know where to where to go when you're struggling and and and, and, and you you, you kind of learn like your like, you know, your strongest part. At, of your body and like your your mechanic and you know what you have to do to be successful and I think uh, I think that's the that's the difference. It's just like how you you, you manage to learn yourself and, and then after that it's just going out there and, and executing your plan, just creating that plan and just kind of like trusting that plan. Because sometimes when we're young, we you know you try to have a plan, but you don't really execute it. You don't really 
go go about it every day because when you struggle for two days you want to change whatever mm. you work on during the off season and, and i think that's that's the difference after you get older it's like okay i know what i have to do i just have to you know execute my plan and just trust my plan it's going to pay off at the end of the year because like sometimes when you start the season and you have one bad month it's like oh my god the war is ending you know like i got to change any, everything mm. and then you get out of yourself and and that's when you go go bad i i love that answer and that that to me is to the front offices let guys play too you got to play through and have that opportunity to learn from the mistakes and grow here's my question next yeah. one you did such a great job broadcasting last year and i'm not saying this as a joke <laughs> i'm being real serious with my question here because when you sit on this side, you see things a little bit different. Did it help you broadcasting last year to be able to go back and play this season? It helps. I mean, it helps because you talk to the boys that are like in the moment. So like you say, you know, it's kind of like weird when you're playing and you like go and do the interviews and stuff like that because it's like, like you, you still active, but like at that, like at that moment when you like do an interview, you like in the other side. So it's like it makes you kind of like think and, and and like process. Okay, like I'm asking this kind of like like kind of questions, but I don't ask that questions myself during the season. You mm. know what I mean? So mm -hmm. like I I understand where you're going to, and, and I think it it really does help because like like you say, you know, you just like in both sides, and then that's when you realize that. Maybe if I, you know, ask those questions throughout the year to myself, I, I could be better. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I do. I do. I do. I wish I could trade with you. I'd go back and play right now. <laughs> if, I, if I look like you, I'd be like, let's trade. <laughs> Hell could go back and win an MVP after all these years of broadcasting. <laughs> look, He's learned so like much. Willie, man. I can do that. A couple more for you, Willie. You're leading the league right now in RBI. How special would that be to be ahead of Otani and all those great names, Marcelo Zuna, et cetera, and lead the National League and runs batted in? Yeah, no, it's it's incredible. It's you know, I, me and my dad we were talking about that la, uh, last night, and he was like, "Man, it, it's it's something special because it's something that you dream about, you know, just like being there with with those superstars, you know, like just be seeing your nail your name right next to them. It's it's something special that that you always dream about, but you know." I guess, you know, whenever you have a dream, you just go and pursue it. And, you know, when you work hard, you, you can't achieve anything you want if you work hard, man. Hey, Willie, last thing uh, on the RBI thing. That, that is a mindset. And, and there's, that's a talent. That's a gift to drive in runs because they pitch you different than when the bases are empty. When did you start to see and, and think about, OK, I, I got to think the situation a little bit more than maybe just leading off an inning? Did, are you applying that? Have you seen that, noticed that? Yeah, of course. I I feel like I'm a different player, different hitter when I have people on base. Because I, I don't know why, but for some reason, like, it kind of, like, lock you in when you have, like, guys in scoring position. It's like, okay, now it's, like, for real, for real, like, it's like I got to bring those guys in. So I got to go and get my pitch. And sometimes, like, when you talk to yourself, it's like, you see like a little bit of immaturity of like, why don't you do that when you don't have nobody on? You know what I mean? Like it, it's, it's just like your mindset changed so, so much because it's like, okay, now like you focus more, you more concentrate at the play. And then that's when you execute your plan at the best. I feel like that's, that's what worked for me. Well, I know there's two things working for right now, and that's Heart and Hustle, Willie. The Heart and Hustle Award, voted on by alumni, active Major League players, presented annually to an active player who demonstrates a passion for the game of baseball and best embodies the values, spirit, and traditions of the game. All 30 teams have a Heart and Hustle Award winner, and you are that guy for the Milwaukee Brewers. What does it mean to you? It means a lot. It means a lot. I mean, you know, I always... I'm always thankful of, you know, all the boys that and, and all the guys that, are, that that voted for me and, you know, that they see the work and, you know, the passion that I have for the game. I mean, I, I was born like this, you know, I love this game and I feel like the whole country where I come from, we, we love baseball and this is like what we live for, you know, this is what we, what we, you know, dream about and, you know, just getting that award is always, you know, special for me. Hopefully there's many more awards to come, Willie. This was awesome, man. Keep it rolling. Thank you. Thank you.